Welcome to Taxtron Web Tutorial Video Series. In this video, we will dive into what constitutes a principal residence, how to designate it, and the process of reporting its sale for tax purposes. If the property was solely your principal residence for every year you owned it, you do not have to pay tax on the gain. If at any time during the period you owned the property, it was not your principal residence, or solely your principal residence, you might not be able to benefit from the principal residence exemption on all or part of the capital gain that you have to report. Your principal residence can be any of the following types of housing units. A house. A cottage. A condominium. An apartment in an apartment building. An apartment in a duplex. A trailer, mobile home, or houseboat. You can designate your home as your principal residence for all the years that you own and use it as your principal residence. However, in some situations, you may choose not to designate your home as your principal residence for one or more of those years. Failure to report the sale of a principal residence can result in a penalty of up to $8,000. Additionally, not reporting the sale at all may subject the individual to taxation on the capital gain. To report the sale of your principal residence, you will need to fill out Form T-2091, IND, designation of a property as a principal residence by an individual, other than a personal trust. This form helps designate your property as your principal residence for tax purposes. Let's walk through how to report the sale of principal residence on Taxtron Web. Start by logging into Web account and open an existing return or create a new return. For this example, I have already completed the personal identification details of the taxpayer. As we can see, this taxpayer's net income is $45,056.98 and he is getting a refund of $2,300. So let's go to the step called identification and click next to land on the page called let's get information about you. Then, if you scroll down, you need to answer the question, in 2023, did you sell your principal residence? After that, click next until you land on the step called sales of residence. Then you will come across the first question which asks, did you own this property jointly with another person? If you shared this home with your spouse or someone else, you can answer yes to this question, otherwise, proceed to the next step. For this example, we will keep it simple. Next, complete the address of your property. Then, you will encounter a very important question where you need to select the principal residence option. You will be presented with three choices, if it's your principal residence for all the years you owned it, or for some but not all the years owned, or if it's some but not all the years, multiple properties. In this example, we will discuss the first scenario when it was the principal residence for all years owned, and we will cover other options in upcoming videos. So select this option, and then it will ask you for the information needed to calculate the capital gain. You will need to provide the year of acquisition, which is when you bought the home. Assuming the taxpayer purchased this home in 2012 and sold it in 2023, you'll enter these years accordingly. Then, you can report the proceeds of disposition, which in this case is $15,649,000, representing the amount for which the taxpayer sold the house. That's all you need for reporting and the T-2091 principal residence form will be the only form required to report the sale of the principal residence for all years owned. Next, let's verify how it will appear in the printing of the tax return and where it's reported. Let's print the record keeping under review and file. You will notice that Schedule 3 will be included in the tax return, but it will be blank. However, if you scroll down, the section 4, I designate the property as my principal residence for all of the years that I owned it or for all of the years that I owned it except one year, will be checkmarked. Additionally, if you scroll down further, you will find the form, designation of a property as a principal residence by an individual, other than a personal trust, included. And that's all. Reporting the sale of your principal residence ensures you stay compliant with tax regulations. Thank you for watching.